<laughs> According to reports today, Australia is on the verge of becoming the dumbest country in the world. Mm -hmm. In WA, it's illegal to carry a drink across a footpath to an outdoor dining area. In parts of Melbourne, if your grass is longer than 30 centimetres, you'll cop a $500 fine. And until two weeks ago in South Australia, it was illegal to drink standing up in a beer garden. It's rules like these that just earned us the tag, the world's dumbest nation. The guy who said it? Luxury magazine editor and global jet setter Tyler Brulé, who argues that overregulation is killing our common sense. So, to recap, for all you dum-dums at home, a Canadian with a dessert for a surname is accusing us of being stupid and boring. Overregulation is making us boring, but it's based on the assumption that we're also dumb. And judging by the amount of regulation we have to put up with, we must be really dumb and very boring. In Thailand, you can ride a motor scooter without a licence. In Germany, you can drink a beer on the street in the sunshine. And in Amsterdam, you can buy a cookie full of cannabis. Meanwhile, in Sydney, in some parks, it's illegal to sing out loud. And Melbourne's live music scene is slowly being choked by noise regulations. Increasingly difficult to keep live music venues alive with all the compliance requirements. I mean, really, you need a permit to take a dump in this town. Australia has a reputation for being a free country with uh, wide open spaces and a lot of freedom. But when people get here and realise that we really are a big nanny state, they learn a different lesson. Brule also said overregulation is killing small business opportunities. Are the conditions also in place to allow people to, to really just go and set up you know, a shingle to start a nice business so they can take home 60 grand every year? So, are we a nanny nation? And have we sucked the fun out of life by overregulating every move we make? Watch out for the dumb dumb watch out. <laughs> God, I wish that toilet permit had come through. I'm backed up. Is <laughs> uh <laughs> On with this. Ben Groundwater is a jet setting travel writer for traveller.com.au and he joins us now. Ben, you've been all over the world. This idea that we're so overregulated that there's been a collapse of common sense, does it hold water? Are we dumb? I, I think it does. I mean, I think the, the, there being so many rules in Australia, it kind of it takes away people's sort of opportunity to make dumb decisions, really, and, and then to learn from those things as well. You can only cross the road in a certain way in Australia. You know, you can only eat at licensed places that the government has decided that it's okay. You know, there's so many rules that you forget that when you go overseas or you go to another place, then maybe some things aren't such a good idea, but you, you just do it anyway. Ben, you're a traveller. Have you been to Cairo? Do you know what uh, happens yeah, when you remove rules around crossing roads or when you remove rules <laughs> around driving? Well, I mean, it's the same with Saigon as well, but it seems to work. You know, somehow it all happens in, in a way that may look crazy to us, but it does work. Well, this accusation actually came from Canada, a nation that's famous for being nice. Are they actually any more interesting than we are, less boring? <laughs> well, that's kind of the ironic thing, because I'm not sure that they are necessarily more exciting than we are. That's a fairly regulated society as well. Uh, this perception, though, that we have so many rules, is it widespread around the world? I, I think it kind of is, yeah. I think we we have a reputation, maybe not for being a nanny state, but certainly for being a place that's not that edgy. Um, you know, I had some Dutch friends come over here and they were saying to me, rather than having all these signs up saying what you can't do, don't you think it would be easier just to have one sign telling you what you can do here? <laughs> <laughs> but Ben, maybe some places do need regulations, like Mexico, for example, where it seems hitting explosives with sledgehammers is a real thing. We're the clever country, to be honest. Maybe <laughs> you changed our argument, Ben. Yeah. Ah. Well, Ben, you keep doing the crazy things and just report back to us. That seems to be working. Will do. Thanks, guys. Well, that guy was okay, too. He wasn't hurt. It's, it's all right to laugh. It's all right to, it's all right to, laugh, to laugh, that. laugh. Well, after the break, Pete goes 